this is the 10th experiment and uh, topic is taken from uh, optics so far we have discussed uh, was the experiment from all about the electrical phenomenon now we are going to discuss about another physical phenomenon that is called optics optical phenomenon and here we will discuss about the focal length to determine the focal length of a concave mirror using a following method and after completing the experiment by all the method we will take the average of the result and we'll get the true value of focal length of the mirror so first of all we must go through the theoretical part you know well that uh, a spherical mirror it is a mirror which has uh, the shape of piece of cut out of the spherical surface and uh, one of the surface is a reflecting surface and other opposite surface is a, a silvered and painted. So two types of spherical mirrors are there depending on their reflecting surfaces outwards or inwards. So first one is a concave mirror. Its inner concave surface reflect are reflecting surface and has a polished outer surface on the other hand there is a convex mirror it is just opposite of concave its outer soft concave surface convex surface uh, is a reflecting surface and inner surface is polished you see here uh, this portion and this portion is nothing but a mirror, a cut out of a sphere, hollow sphere. And this is the center, which is also called center of a sphere or center of curvature of a spherical mirror. And you see that any line drawn from this surface is always perpendicular to the surface when this line joins to the center of curvature. So here, is the real feature of uh, mirror, convex mirror. You see as a rear view uh, in the vehicles. And this is a concave mirror, which is uh, deeper in the center. Next. Different terms associated with a spherical mirror. Different terms associated with spherical mirrors are pole of the mirror. You know well that the, uh, the center of the spherical mirror, central point on the spherical surface or a mirror surface is called pole of the mirror. Center of curvature, you see here, center of curvature the center of a sphere itself is called center of curvature principal focus is well known to us point on principal axis on which all parallel rays meet after reflection radius of curvature the distance between pole and center of curvature is called radius of curvature which is denoted by r now focal length focal length is the distance between the pole and focus principal focus of the mirror is called uh, focal length this is the ray diagram this is the reflecting surface for concave mirror you know will that ray of light can never uh, uh, come opposite side of this mirror it means this side is as polished and uh, this side act as a reflecting surface so you see here reflecting surface is facing towards the center of curvature in case of concave mirror and you see here any ray passing through the uh, when incident on the surface of the mirror after reflection 
it passes through the focus if these rays are infinitely away from the mirror or the ray incident ray is parallel to the principal axis. Concave mirror, concave mirror has, uh, concave mirrors have the reflecting surface that bulges inwards and they are also called converging mirror because it converges all the parallel incident rate to the focus that's why it is called converging mirror and uh, unlike a flat mirror concave mirrors can form real image you know that plane mirror forms virtual image but here you will see that uh, this will form a virtual image Uh, real image, concave mirror forms real image, but one of the case is there in which it will form virtual image. When object is placed between pole and focus, then image is formed virtual. So it means concave mirror or a spherical, uh, concave mirror forms both real and virtual image depending on the position of object from the mirror. Now, uh, concave mirror can be used in a satellite. This is as you know that there is a, uh, a uh, antenna or a DTH you might have there uh, a connection with your TV system. So these are the concave and vehicles, headlight and astronomical telescope and many more areas. It is much, much more useful. This is concave mirror. And this is DTH that uh, converts all the incident ray coming from distant place or infinitely distant place to the focus. This is the receiver uh, uh, which is situated at the focus of this uh, mirror. Now, you are uh, all of you are well familiar with the uh, mirror formula. Uh, mm -hmm. right from the class 10, the equation connecting mm -hmm. the distance between mirror and object, mirror and image, and focal length of the mirror is called mirror formula, you see here. And, uh, and also you see here, focal length can be calculated from here. And focal length by a uh, graphical method from UV graph, we uh, plot the graph. We can measure the focal length of given concave mirror graphically by plotting the graph between U and V. For this, plot the graph with U along X axis and V along Y axis, taking the same scale for drawing and X and Y axis as a curve is obtained and the point at which the bisector meet the curve gives the radius of uh, curvature r. Now focal length can be calculated as using the formula r equal to 2f because from the graph we can calculate r and if r is known then uh, focal length can be obtained using this formula r equal to 2f so f equal to r over 2. Now, in uh, second method, one over u versus one over v graph, uh, you can also uh, measure the focal length by plotting the graph one over u versus one over v and uh, plot a graph along uh, taking one over u along x axis and one over v along y axis by taking the same scale and drawing the x axis and y axis. The focal length can be calculated using a formula uh, intercept formed on the x-axis and y-axis. And you see here intercept OA and OB. OA is the intercept on one of the axis and OB is intercept on the another axis. And this intercept is just equal to one over F. Now, uh, learning outcome in this experiment will be a student uh, can understand uh, different types of mirror and their Im images properties 
and a student uh, learn and apply the mirror formula and the students understand the different terms associated with the spherical mirror and also students recall the application of concave mirror so these are the learning outcomes now uh, for the experiment uh, to determine the focal length using uv method uh, we must uh, go through the procedure and uh, in the procedure uh, first step is to uh, note down the materials required for the experiment to carry over so here we require concave mirror and a mirror stand one x screen and an object that must be illuminated illuminating object in terms of light emitting object like candle or cross bulb etc so illuminated wire gauze and meter scale and uh, now uh, in the real lab procedure by distant object method you know well that if object is situated at distant place or infinitely at large distance then its image will be formed at focus so by distant method fix a given concave mirror on the stand and place it on a table and facing towards a distant object like a, a distant building or tree as an object arrange the screen on the table so that image of the distant object is obtained on it clearly and now where uh, you get clear image of the object distant object then fix the screen at that place and then measure the distance between mirror and a screen using meter scale and it can be taken as the focal length of the mirror you uh, because uh, it is uh, based on the concept that if object is at distant place its image will be situated at the focus now <clears throat> this was the uh, distant object method now by uv method using focal length obtained by distant object method in the previous case set the value of u that is distance between mirror and object okay and ranging from 1.5 f times to 2.5 f times whatever focal length you get in the previous case uh, just you multiply by the factor of 1.5 and uh, to 2.5 and there could be several value in between 1.5 and 2.5 and uh, this will gives you the value of u and divide the range into number of equal steps okay at least we can take uh, uh, 10 uh, values so 1.5 to 2.5 can be divided into 10 equal steps now measure the mirror in front uh, of an illuminated uh, place the mirror in front of an illuminated wire gauge that act as an object and it act as an object now uh, fix the mirror at distant u at distance u which is obtained as 1.5 times the focal length obtained in the first steps or in the first method that is distant object method from the wire gaze we place the mirror at this much distance now place the screen on the table facing the mirror in such a way that the reflecting image or reflected image lies on the screen so we can, uh, can adjust the position of a screen to get the clear image of the wire gaze and keeping the distance between the object and mirror fixed distance uh, adjust the position of a screen in order to get the clear image of the object and measure the distance between mirror and wire gaze as well as mirror and a screen and take this value as u and v respectively now record the value of u and v in the tabular column 
and calculate the focal length of the given concave mirror by using the relation this. This relation has been obtained from the mirror formula, so you may uh, understand it well. Uh, repeat the experiment for the different values of u, uh, starting from 1.5 times the f to 2.5 times f. And in each time, measure v and record it in the tabular form. Now, calculate the focal length f of the concave mirror each time. <coughs> And uh, because each time you measure u and v, so calculate the focal length each time. Now calculate the mean value of focal length to get the correct focal length of the given concave mirror. Now focal length of a mirror can also be measured graphically by plotting the graph between uh, u and v and so on. So uh, uh, here, after uh, getting the result from the graph, uh, you will compare that mean value with this graph. And uh, also we can repeat the experiment with a concave mirror of different focal length. And uh, compared with this graphical method and that mean value that you have already obtained, you will see that your result is uh, uh, approximately closer to each other. This was the real lab procedure. Now here we can repeat the experiment with the concave mirror of different focal length. Uh, simulator procedure. Uh, select the focal length using slider. Click on the light on and off button to turn on and off the wire gauge which act as object and select the distance between the mirror and the object u uh, using the slider and change the distance between mirror and the screen uh, using the slider to get the clear image uh, of the wire gauze on the screen. Now you can uh, calculate the focal length of the mirror using the formula and you can verify your result by clicking on the show result button and uh, to redo the experiment click the reset button these are the simulator uh, procedure for the simulation here is the observation table you see that at least we have to take five observation and then take the mean value of each observation and that mean value will give you the true value of focal length and if it is in centimeter you must convert it into meter and uh, this is u and v and this is reciprocal of u and this is reciprocal of v and using this we can calculate f and now calculate the value of focal length f each time and find its mean plot the graph u along x axis v along y axis taking same scale for drawing the x-axis and y-axis and draw the bisector OA and join OC and OB that you will see in the diagram. Then this OC equal to OB equal to twice of F. That means this is radius of curvature. Then calculate the uh, focal length of uh, from this. Radius of curvature once obtained, then we can calculate because OC can be measured, OB can be measured. So F equal to half of OC or OB. Now plot the graph with a reciprocal of U and V, a reciprocal of U taken along X axis and reciprocal of V taken along Y axis, taking the same scale. And the graph is a straight line in this case. Uh, intercepting the axis at A and B, then OA and OB equal to just equal to that intercept equal to reciprocal of focal length. Calculate the focal length from this. Now, try to understand this is the graph you see. This is U versus V graph. So U is taken along X axis and V is taken along Y axis and uh, you will see here the graph will be a curved line. Then join the origin with a point 
on the curve line such that this straight line bisect the graph then the graph uh, this bisector bisect the graph at a given point such that this line is nothing but what radius of curvature oa equal to 2f or oa equal to r and if we obtain this we can measure f similarly if you take a reciprocal of u and reciprocal of v taking reciprocal of u along x axis and reciprocal of v along y axis then in such case you will get the graph is a straight line intercepting at the y axis and x axis equally so uh, it intercept at y axis at point a and x axis at point b therefore oa is just equal to 1 over f and ob equal to just, uh, just equal to 1 over f so either measuring oa or measuring ob we can uh, measure 1 over f so putting the value of ob here and oc and uh, taking the f using formula ob plus oc divided by 4 for for this graph you see here here is c and here is b so oc and ob so oc plus ob divided by 4 is obtained here and this is just equal to focal length f and from this formula we can measure now in this case oa and ob is the intercept that can be measured from above now taking the formula uh, f equal to 2 divided by oa plus ob and this will be equal to whatever value we measured from this graph here here Uh, we can place that value that is 0.04 and uh, 0.04 here also so placing this value here we can measure a result can be obtained by uv method by uv graph and by 1 over u and 1 over v graph okay and uh, place all this value so this is the all about the experiment now let us look at the video part of this or uh, animation part of this then we will move on the simulation concave mirror focal length by uv method our aim is to find the focal length of the given concave mirror by one uv method two from uv graph and 3 from 1 by u minus 1 by v graph to do the experiment we require the following materials meter scale stand screen and concave mirror procedure Take the concave mirror. Place it on the stand which is placed in front of the screen, facing a distant object. The image of the object is visible on the screen. Adjust the mirror to get a clear image of the object. Measure the corresponding length between the screen and mirror using the meter scale. It is taken as the focal length f of the mirror. Let it be 15 centimeters. UV method. First, we have to set the distance between object and mirror taken as u in terms of the measured focal length. Therefore, the distance between object and mirror should be in between 3f by 2 and 5f by 2. To find the focal length by UV method. We require the following materials: illuminated wire gauze, screen, and concave mirror. Place the illuminated wire gauze, which is the object, in front of the reflecting surface of the mirror and place a screen in front of the mirror. 
adjust the mirror and set the distance of the object and the mirror in between 3f by 2 and 5f by 2 and measure the distance using the meter scale. Let it be 24 centimeters. The image of the object is visible on the screen. Keep the distance between the object and mirror U as 24 centimeters. Adjust the position of the screen in order to get a clear image of the object. A clear image of the object is seen on the screen. Measure the distance between the mirror and screen B using the scale. It is measured as 40 centimeters. Record the values of U and V in a tabular column and calculate the focal length. Adjust the mirror and set the distance between object and mirror as 26 centimeters. Adjust the position of the screen in order to get the clear image of the object. Now, measure the distance between the mirror and screen using the scale. It is measured as 35.45 centimeters. At this distance, a clear image of the object is seen on the screen. Record the values of U and V in the tabular column and calculate the focal length. Adjust the mirror and set the distance between object and mirror as 28 centimeters. Adjust the position of the screen in order to get a clear image of the object. Now, measure the distance between the mirror and screen using the scale. It is measured as 32.3 centimeters. At this distance, a clear image of the object is seen on the screen. Record the values of U and V in the tabular column and calculate the focal length. Adjust the mirror and set the distance between the object and mirror as 30 centimeters. Adjust the position of the screen in order to get a clear image of the object. Now, measure the distance between the mirror and screen using the scale. It is measured as 30 centimeters. At this distance, a clear image of the object is seen on the screen. Record the values of U and V and calculate the focal length. Repeat the experiment by choosing other values for U and calculate the average focal length. Plot a graph between U and V by taking U along the abscess and V along the ordinate and calculate the focal length from the graph. It is obtained as 15 centimeters. Plot another graph between 1 by U and 1 by V by taking 1 by U along the abscess and 1 by V along the ordinate and calculate the focal length from the graph. It is obtained as 14.81 centimeters. The focal length of the given concave mirror from the UV method is 14.999 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meter. From the UV graph is 15 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meter. And from 1 by U minus 1 by V graph is 14.81 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meter. Okay, so uh, we have seen uh, that experiment. Uh, uh, now, uh, we have to move on the next simulation part. Uh, okay, let me check. Uh, <clears throat> Our time is left, uh, very much less time is there. And uh, so uh, that simulation part uh, will be obtained from here. Mm. There is a six minute time left out. So we will finish and uh, the reading that obtained during this experiment uh, uh, here you will uh, put it in this tabular form and uh, now in a real lab uh, how to perform the experiment let us move on. This is a, a, a simulation part that we will uh, perform the experiment. 
and here you see <coughs> this is the screen and here it is the mirror and here is a box uh, which consists of a cross wire which is called wire gauze illuminated wire gauze and here it is a scale that can be used to measure one of the scale is also given here so uh, just we have to just we have to uh, reshape the experiment and <laughs> and first thing is that light on as soon as we uh, press the light on uh, uh, object uh, is here in this hole uh, in, to, in the form of plus uh, that is cross wire illuminated gauze wire and this will act as object. So uh, we have to adjust the screen there such that uh, we can obtain the image clearly. And so far, we don't have image over this screen right now and uh, image of this object. So let us uh, adjust this uh, screen. Uh, next step is to mirror is here 100 centimeter and the distance between the mirror and uh, the screen is 150 cm now uh, in order to adjust okay we will adjust it and let us check whether we get clear image or not uh, okay so all right in this way we will adjust if we get the clear image uh, then just you have to say at which position you get clear image at which position you get clear image wherever you get okay wherever you get clear image all uh, right it's uh, just take me uh, adjust we will adjust mirror and for various position we can take a set of readings and you see in, in this way can and and here you see Okay, so here one of the location that, uh, where we get image. Okay, so this is the image you see in the form of plus. Now, where, as soon as you get the image clear on the screen, stop the uh, shifting of a screen and take the scale and measure the distance between a screen and the mirror. So you take the scale and uh, in this case already reading is here given so uh, using this you can measure so here this is the arrow and this is the arrow and uh, okay from here you can measure so uh, it is almost at 61.1 61.1 and uh, or simply 61 centimeter that way you will note down because this is the value of uh, V and uh, similarly this is U and this is mirror so this can be measured as a U measuring the distance between this box and mirror this box act as object illuminated object and this screen how you get here then this is the image so distance between this is the image distance and uh, if completing the one reading then shift the mirror again 
somewhere else and uh, then again take the reading after shifting the mirror you just adjust this is the screen and uh, you just uh, uh, okay you know well that uh, it's a formula must be uh, uh, 